Hey everyone, so I decided to take advantage of being in quarantine and actually film my uh, art process for once because I'm usually too busy to do it, but here I am today filming it. So basically I'm going to be painting a song today and the song I chose is Miss by ATs. I've been wanting to paint this song for a while because I just love listening to it and it makes me inspired but also sad. So I really wanted to paint how it made me feel because it was these conflicting emotions that made it such an interesting song for me. So when I'm trying to paint a song, or what a song means to me, I usually start by sitting down with my notebook and just listening to the song and letting my ideas flow. Some things I make note of are possible color combinations, and this has a lot to do with what the song sounds like. Harsher tones in the song uh, convey more contrasting colors, and softer tones that bleed into each other convey more uh, complementary colors. I have a piano version of the song playing in the background so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. This is probably my favorite part of painting because you can literally just slap some water on there and slap some color on and just hope for the best. And it actually looks really cool if you just do that. I honestly don't look at my reference photos at all during this part and even in the second layer because I just want to like put my emotion into the painting and just put the colors down where I feel like they should go. I think this is one of the most crucial moments in the painting because if I don't do this and I'm not messy with my first couple of layers, the painting really looks stiff in the end and has no motion. When painting a song, it's important to not only convey that song through what you are painting, like your subject or your theme, but how you paint that. So for instance, in the skin of this painting, I wanted to make it very drawn out and tired, so I painted it in a very purpley tone so that it looked like that, instead of normally vibrant skin, because I wanted it to feel like this person was giving it their all with no return. I wanted the viewer to have a feeling of vulnerability when they looked at my painting and then also to have compassion for the character within. That's why I painted his eyes closed, it's because having your eyes closed is a very vulnerable position. Again, everything I'm explaining are feelings that I had while I was listening to the song. It's very important that if you're trying to paint a song, that you sit down and listen to it a few times and just jot down how it makes you feel. It doesn't necessarily have to be related to the lyrics, it can be just a feeling you get from the different tones used within the song. The important thing is to keep an open mind and maybe even try to relate the song to a personal experience you had or maybe some other artwork you've seen. detail work I'm doing comes secondary to the theme of the painting. It's really this detail work that makes it look co like a cohesive piece, but it's not the most important part. The most important part is to have a solid idea at the beginning of your painting. That's when you can put the most of your emotion into it. Just a warning if you're working with silver leaf, it is unbearably messy. It is just as bad as glitter and it will get everywhere. <laughs> 